hi everyone welcome back to my channel today it is good friday so two days until easter and i decided to come on here today and show you guys what i'm doing for mama cat if you have kids i know you're probably getting your easter baskets ready for them and if you don't if you know someone that is special to you and you want to do something special for them then you can do this idea too as far as doing a little gift basket for them for Easter just to let them know that you appreciate them. Alright, so let's get started guys. So I'm going to move all this off. This is, just remind you if you've been watching my other videos, this is, a, is the 20 I put aside for Mama Cat and her envelope. I will be using this today for her video for her Easter basket, okay? So I'm going to move this stuff to the side guys and my ribbons and we'll get started. I'm going to wrap up her Easter basket really quick. Like I said, we're big kids at heart in this household. So we like to do little things like this for each other. So I'm going to grab her basket really quick. And I'm going to briefly show you guys what I'm doing for her. So, we just reuse the same baskets, and I'm going to show you guys really quick what that is. This is just a dollar Easter basket that we get from the dollar store, of course, Dollar Tree. And I got her little tape dispenser. This came from the Dollar Tree, guys. If you see these, they're so cute. I have this one, and for uh, summer, I have a flamingo one that I bought last year. So, you will eventually see that on my channel as well. And then I got her this peep so she can put that on her bed. It's got a little red fuzzy. Let me get that off. And it is the peep brand. And I got this one off of Amazon. It's the 9 inch plus. And also what I'm going to put in her basket is a spiner that I got off of Amazon. And I'm going to cover it real quick guys. So I have her name where my hand is and these um, envelopes, their little zipper pouches came from, I think it's So So Creations. Um, her YouTube name is Triple M Crafts, I think with a Z if I remember. I bought them a long time ago. And then I just got some paper from Amazon to stick in here. And then I got another envelope in the back for coupons and receipts. So this will be a budget binder. And it just opens like the regular envelopes like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Mama Cat money. And I'm just going to take that 20 out. And just to give her something in there and just stick it in her binder. So when she opens it, she'll have that. So I'm not going to put her name out here. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't think she really wants to be on there. But in the corner, I'm just going to show you that I am taking it 20 and sticking it in there for her. And we'll close this up. And then that will go in there as well. So let me see if I can get y'all a little bit closer to what I'm doing up here. See if it's going to cooperate. Okay. So, I'm going to flip up the grass really quick here, guys. I have the 20 in this budget binder and her plushie. And that is her tape dispenser. And I'm going to... If you guys remember, I got these little bunnies from the dollar store. It was two in a pack. I'm going to take these and fill these up with candy because everything won't fit in her basket. So what I'm going to do is I got the Russell Stover's chocolate eggs and the marshmallows. And then I got the coconut one. I went ahead and opened the bags. I'm going to stick a couple. Um, let me see how many's in here. I'll count it so you guys will kind of have some idea if you have to go buy them. Okay. One, two, three, 
four, five, six. So you get six in the bag. So I'll put three each in. So I have three of the marshmallows. I'm going to stick that in there. And I think it won't hold a lot in there. So if you're on a tight budget, that's kind of a good thing too. That might save you money. That way it still looks full. And then I'll put three of these in there. Comment down below, guys. Um, let me know if you celebrate Easter. And if you do Easter baskets, let me know, guys, what is your favorite Easter candy? Because I'm curious to know. Okay, so I'm going to put three of these in here. And that's going to really fill that up. I don't think you're going to be able to get any more in there. Okay. See if I can maneuver it around. Okay, and close that up. And I'm going to stick this right behind. Let's see. I have to maneuver this around. Okay, there we go. That's a little bit better for you guys to see. So, um, let's see. We'll try to maneuver it around so you can see the little bunny ears open. Okay. And I'm going to put, let's see, what's am I going to get in here? I don't think a lot else is going to fit. But, like I said, if you're doing these for an adult, um, give them their favorite candies. Like I said, she likes those cotton candy peeps, so I'm going to put some of those in there. And if you need to with these, because um, I don't think a lot's going to fit in here. It's, it's really structural safe. So, um, if you need to, use some tape. But if you're going to use tape, use the transparent and not the clear. The clear is more frosted. The transparent is see-through. Okay? So, let's see. What else can we get in here? I bought way more candy than I really thought would hold in here. But she likes these if you remember those are from my dollar store haul and the these are really delicious guys they have chunks of sea salt in them so I got these from Walmart but they don't carry them in every Walmart so just be on the lookout if you see them grab it you'll enjoy it so I'm gonna put maybe this right here and then like the candy bars right there off to the side and I got some of these for her. They're the Pepperidge Farm towels, but they're way cheaper because I got them at Walmart. They're cheaper than $2.89. I think they're almost a dollar cheaper, but they're thin and crispy ones, and they're so good. I don't know if these are going to fit, but let me see. Let me try. I'm going to spin it around. See, no, that's not going to fit unless I tape it. I'm not going to bothered by that I'll just give it to her separately that's fine um let's see I might just stick another thing of peeps in there that's just a traditional yellow one and those are good too give it some more color she likes those as well mm. and I think that's gonna be all that we can get in there let's see I don't want to scratch the binder up. I'm trying to. Yes. Okay. There we go. So, I'm about to say I'm pushing it to its max here. Okay. There we go. So, everything's in. And I am going to show you guys really quickly how to package all this up in this bag and do a quick bow. And then you'll be set for your Easter. So, I'm going to. Grab over here, off to the side, and I'll show you a couple of different ways to decorate your baskets. With these, 
of course they came from my favorite store the Dollar Tree and these are a little bit different I used one of these last year and it had a different pattern to it but this year it has some with Happy Easter all over it so we'll open this up let me see if I can find my scissors okay open her up here and it comes with the little tie so hold on to that because you will they will be helpful okay, I'm gonna take the bag out okay let's take the protective shield off of that and like I say anything I don't fit in her bag like the cookies I showed you I'll just give it to her separately she's not gonna care as long as she gets them okay so open the bag up oh okay oh this is even a better deal okay I didn't realize this I guess I should have read the pack and I thought you know when I looked at this I thought this was kind of thick for a uh, tie back but if you look it's two of them and it's two of them because there's actually two of these bags so actually this is good because one I will use to wrap up her basket and then the other one I'll use to put all the extra candy that I can't fit in this basket in here that's even better okay so we will open this up real quick and we're going to drop her basket in here so I'm going to move this up real quick guys so I can slide it in the bag Lay the bag down. Open her up here. And you might want to air these bags out too if you have this type. Just because I'm noticing a chemical smell. And I don't remember that last time with the other bag that I used um, last year. So I don't know if it's by a different company or what. So we're going to just slide that in real quick. And... I'm going to get you at the top here so you can see what I'm doing. It's not wanting to cooperate today. So, what we're going to do is go ahead and tie up at the top. Okay, so we're at the top. And I'm going to use that twist tie. Okay. We're going to use that twist tie up here at the top. To close that real quick and then I'm going to show you what to do next we just need temporary close up right now because we're going to make a bow if you don't want to make a bow for it you can buy one or you can get the bags they do have the ones in the dollar store that have the bag and the bow combo so if you don't want to mess with that then you can do that so Right now, this is the way it looks like. Okay. And then the tie. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to move this off camera real quick. And I'm going to show you how to do a bow. Now, if you don't... Let's see. all right guys if you don't know how to do a bow what you can do is if you saw any of my other videos before this um check out the one that has my it has my um organized bins in it and it shows all the craft materials i have at the house and this is just stuff i already had so basically this is I'll show you. It's the curling ribbon that you get at the dollar store. I know you guys have seen it before. It comes with this spool. Sometimes you can get single colors or different colors, like I said before in that previous video. If you watched it before, you'll see what I'm talking about. But you can get a bunch of different colors. If you don't know how to make a bow and you don't want to mess with it, then what you could do is take a bunch of different colors, tie them together. This is a pipe cleaner. So if you buy a bag of these, they will last a long time. You just tie around the pipe cleaner and then tie it around 
You just tie around the top of your basket. Like so. Let's see. And then you'll have a bow at the top. Like that. Now, if you want me to show you really quick to do how to do a bow, if you have the other kind of ribbon, I'm going to show you real quick. So, I'm going to put this back down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Let's move this over. So, like I said, if you want to do that simple one, you use that curling ribbon. If you want to do the other one where you can make the bow yourself, then you would use this kind of ribbon here. Um, I got this also from the dollar store. Um, it's kind of like a satiny feel. Or you can get it from craft stores too. Um, anywhere you can find it, it's pretty cheap too as well. And you get a lot on there so you can make lots of bows with it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a pipe cleaner. I'm going to use, I have a bag that has multicolors in it. And I'm going to just use the yellow one since I'm using a yellow ribbon. It's not really going to matter. You're not going to really see it. But I'm just for purposes of this video. That's what I'm going to do. So what you'll do. Is you're going to take some off the spool here. To get started. Okay. So what you'll do is. You're going to take your thumb. And you're going to wrap it around. Okay. So you're going to make a loop. And what you're going to do is, once you have that loop, and make sure you have your other finger, your index finger, holding that down. You're going to twist. Hold that part where you twist it down, see? You're going to hold that down in place, and you're going to make a loop, okay? So you're going to repeat that. You're going to twist, hold the twist down, make another loop. And it'll take some practice on um, getting this in. Make the loops as close to the same size as possible on each side. Repeat it and make the loop next loop a little bit bigger. Make a loop. You're going to twist. Okay, bring it around. Make that side equal to this one. Okay, and it looks about equal. If not, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, that's only if you don't want to try to buy a bow. Okay, and then you can move it around this side and make it a little bit bigger. Loop. Okay. See, see what I'm doing? So you're going to just keep repeating it. And you can just make them a little bit bigger each time. And until you get to the desired size that you want. I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. I'm going to keep going here. Okay. And you're just going to keep making your loops until you get it to where you want it to be. I like one big and fluffy because it looks more expensive. Gonna move some on this side to make it full. Let's see. So I'm gonna do a couple more loops because I want a really big, pretty bow. Hmm, see how it's looking? I think it looks cute. I'll make it as full as I possibly can. By this time, your hands should be feeling tired because it will, but it's worth it. Because like I said, you can get a dollar bow or you can get one of these spools, which have way more ribbon on it. You get more use. You get more um, use out of it for your money. So if you are trying to still save money, then you're going to want to go with something that is going to be more cost effective. And I think I'm going to make one more loop on this side and then I'm going to call this a day on this bow. Because it's big enough to where I want it. Okay, so now if you're satisfied with your bow, that's what it's going to look like. You're going to take your scissors and cut right here. Give it enough room so it doesn't unravel. 
you're going to take your pipe cleaner and you're going to you're going to still keep your fingers right there because if not it's going to unravel you're going to loop, loop it through that loop okay you're going to bring it around you're going to take it and you're going to twist this together okay so you're going to take pull it as tight as possible and then you're going to twist it around that way it holds your bow in place okay all right if you want to add some of the ribbon to hang down you can do that as well at this point i'm going to take and i'm going to cut a couple of strings off and put this bow down so you can see what i'm doing so I want some ribbon to hang off the side for decoration. So I'm going to cut a couple of these ribbons. And you can do it in different lengths so they can hang differently. Okay. Let's see. Let's do one more. And I'll just do a shorter one this time. These are pretty long. Okay, so you're going to take that and you have all three holding right here. You're going to take your bow, take those ribbons, and you're going to flip it around. And then you're going to twist these around here to hold them in place. Okay, pull it tight and twist. That holds your ribbon in place so it won't budge. Let's move this off camera. And if you want to get really fancy, you can take some of this curling ribbon too. Okay, I want to add some purple to it, so I'm going to cut about three of these. Let's see, I'll cut a short one. And let's see, lost the spot a second. Hold on, it will stick together, so just watch it. Let's see, I'm going to cut two more long ones so they drape over the basket. Let's see. Bring you guys up here so you can see what I'm doing. And I lost the spot again. It keeps clinging. Okay. Come on, work with me here. Sometimes when you're trying to do something too, you're going to fight with the equipment. Okay, and cut. So it's going to be like really dangly. So you're going to take your bow again. And then you can add this on. You're still gripping all three together. If, Like I said, this is optional. You're going to take it and you're going to do the same thing to attach as you did with the other ribbon. Take it and wrap it around the pipe cleaner here. Make sure it's tight. Because this will slip out. Okay. And. Let's see. Let me fix it here. Okay. So that is your little Easter bow. Okay. And we're going to attach it to the basket. So. Let me grab the basket again. And move you guys up so you can see see if we can get higher to see the basket okay so at this point you have everything in here in your basket okay that's what we're looking like so what you need to do at this point you see these little parts that are sticking out the side okay you're going to take that transparent not clear you're going to take the transparent tape and you're going to tape it around the back, okay? So, let's see. I have my own tape dispenser, a little unicorn. Let me pull the tape up real quick. So, I'm going to take two. Oh, really? That's what you want to do? Okay, I love the tape here. Now it's going to be difficult to pull up. Hold on, guys. Something always happens when you're trying to craft. Never fails. Okay. So 
So let me cut that little piece off. That's not going to work. Okay, you're going to take your tape and get a piece off. Let me try not to make that same mistake again. Okay, get a piece off. So I spin your basket around here. And you're going to take this part. Like I said, you're going to attach it to the back end. You're going to tape it down so you can't see that part sticking up. Okay. And let me get one more piece of tape and we'll do the other side as well so those parts are not sticking up. And you can tape it down as much as you need to. Like I said, with that transparent tape, you're, um, transparent tape, you're not going to see that part of it. Okay, so we're going to do the other side. And tape that down as well. Okay, so see how much better that looks. You don't have those pieces hanging out on the side. Okay. Now what you're going to do is move up to the top and we're going to attach our bow no matter if you made one or if you bought one. So we're going to move up here and we're going to attach our little bow up at the top. So let's see. I'm trying to get y'all a good angle guys. I'm still working on the angles here. Okay. We're going to attach right here. I'm going to put you down real quick, guys. I need to get this closer. There we go. Make sure, though, when you do this, that your bag is pulled tight, okay? So, I'm going to attach it really quick because I didn't have the bag pulled tight enough. So you're just going to attach it and then turn around and just secure it in the back. Okay. And yes, I am fighting with the camera at this point because it is not cooperating. Now give me a second. I'm going to attach this real quick, guys, and now I'll show you how it looks. Okay. So, okay. This is optional. If you want to cut these parts, you can um, so they don't stick up as much so I'm gonna just trim them back a little bit that way they're not sticking up and then I'm gonna do this other one on the other side there we go and you could just use regular scissors they're not a thick wire so you don't need something special to cut those and then I just turn them around so they're not poking out and it's gonna hurt somebody Okay, and then you can fluff your bowl up a little bit. And then what I always do, at the top, you see all this extra material up here at the top? I just cut that part, okay? So I take my scissors and I cut about that much off. I'm trying to one-hand it and hold the camera at the same time so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I cut about that much off. And then I fluff it back out there. So, there we go. You don't have all that plastic up there. And it looks more expensive when you do that as well. So, I just trim that down a little bit. There we go. Okay. And what you can do is you can add something special up here at the top. So, you have a couple options. You can use a... This is a little pen for her journal or her budget journal, budget binder, whatever you want to call it. You can just stick that here at the top, okay? Or you can um, take that out, get a sucker. If you have a kid, get a sucker or a lollipop and attach that at the top. Have that hanging out. So either one you can do. So, guys, this is the end result. That's the sucker and the bow. And then that is the full basket. Put her treats in. So, there you go. So, like I said, 
be ready for Easter. If you decide you're going to do one for an adult, then you can. And if you want to do one for a child, then you have the option as well. But maybe this will give you some ideas on what you want to do and how to make a quick and easy bow. So guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Uh, like I said, what's your favorite Easter candy? And until next time, it, oh, also too guys, like I said before, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified whenever I post. And until next time, thank you guys for walking. Um, thank you guys. I can't talk today. Thank you guys for watching my videos. I appreciate it and I appreciate all the love that you give me on my channel. All right. Love you guys. Bye.